Hey guys, welcome back. Today we have a comparison between two very similar beers, the Mustang Sally Crumbs and the Drecker Slang Du Jour. So both of these beers are kind of holiday inspired, sort of pie beers, I guess. The Crumbs is an imperial sour with raspberry, cranberry, cranberry, vanilla, and nutmeg. And the Slang Du Jour is a cherry raspberry cobbler. Is this an imperial as well? No, it's just a sour. Doesn't say. Yeah, okay. These might be a little bit out of season, but um, we had them laying around, so we thought, why not? So we're just gonna pour some in. And let's shake it up a bit. In each glass. Yeah. Yeah, definitely shake it up. Well, crumbs is 8.2%. It has a big picture of a giant pie on it. And this one is just, I don't even know what this is. This is just like <laughs> a, a freaking dude with, a, with fangs like bleeding out on the, uh, on his, I don't know. It's They're weird. the craziest can art. It's wild. I always love reading the can art, the cans uh, for Drecker though, because they say like malt, pale row, uh, oats, wheat, but it always says gimmicks. This one's got cherry, raspberry, granola, cinnamon, lactose, brown sugar, and vanilla bean. So that should be, if we could taste all that, like the struggle bus that we had, yeah. where we can taste everything, this is gonna be really wild. I just fear that, that Two of the well, one of one of the two of these is gonna taste like there we go. like uh, Robitussin. Yeah, that's why I stay away from. I'm I'm concerned. Berry flavored stuff because you're right; they end up tasting kind of medicinal. Medicinal. Um, but I don't know. We'll give these a, a shot. They're they're pie inspired flavored beers essentially. So let's take a nose on the crumbs first, and let's see what we're getting into here. Ooh, that smells tart. Tart. It smells tart. The back of my jaw. Yeah, I can up. I can taste it already. <laughs> <laughs> it locked up as soon as I smell that cranberry. Oh man, yep, yep, that's gonna be wow. tart as hell. I, I do get that like sort of berry note in there. Mm-hmm. I'm definitely getting like a cranberry cocktail juice. Yeah, it's almost like um it's almost like that uh almost like that ginger ale uh flavor, the the cranberry ginger ale. Mm -hmm. It almost smells like that. Yeah, that's gonna be tart. I feel like that's gonna be tart. I like the ocean spray stuff, yeah. Yeah, exactly. A little sweet too, that one's mm -hmm. really sweet. This one? Oh, cinnamon. I smell cinnamon, like graminess, like that graham cracker. I smell like the buttery kind of like pie crust with like cinnamon in it. And with like an added touch of raspberry. That smells delicious. That does smell good. That smells like a pie. Yeah. Yeah, there's a little bit of sweetness, but it's like a more, um, like a, it's it's more in your face of, a, it's like a more intense sweetness. Okay, so let's dive into um, Slang Du Jour, cheers. cheers. Oh, oh. That's delicious. Yeah, the first thing I get is this really intense cinnamon. Tastes, yeah, like a cinnamon. Exactly. That. Yeah. Almost like um, like a like a raspberry pie with like streusel on it. Yes. It's more of like there's a, something sweet like there. Like a cobbler. There's something yeah. very uh, very creamy about that. I mean, there's a lot of lactose in here, I'm sure. Um, but there's something very creamy and sugary about this one. But it's not it's not sweet in the same sense. You know? Do you know what I'm saying? It's hard to explain. These these are hard to explain beers. But they nailed the. They nailed pie, that taste. Cobbler thing they were going for. Yeah, it now, definitely tastes like a cobbler. Struzzly. And I see little bitties of yeah. like raspberries, like uh, like seeds floating in here. And just like little- Chunks of stuff. Chunks of stuff. I don't know what that stuff is, but like it's probably all those gimmicks. I mean, they did brew it with granola. So maybe it's like the- Oh, it could be. Granola chunks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's yes. super delicious. Yeah. It's not even that sour. It's got this little tiny twinge of sourness, but it's, 
I don't even know if I would call that a sour, to be honest. That's just a fruit, I, that's a fruit beer. I wouldn't even call it a sour. It's, it's at most you're gonna get is like tartness. And that's solely from the raspberry, do, cranberries? Uh, cra cra cherry and cherry. raspberry. I get a lot of cherry, not Maybe so much raspberry. The combo of using both cherry and raspberry, they're both berries that complement each other. And you can blend them and you can still like pick up each individual. Yeah. Well, there's like tart cherry and sweet cherry, so they probably went with sweet, sweet cherries, cherries and then raspberries on top of that. I'm gonna guess. Um, but yeah, I get a lot more cherry in this one than raspberry for sure. So moving over to the uh, the crumbs from Mustang Sally. I mean, again, this one smelled super tart, but you know, smells can be deceiving, we've learned. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. No, it's not as tart as I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> It's more of okay. a tart ale versus a sour. Yeah, so this one is is much more of a traditional sour in the sense that there's not as many gimmicks, one. Mm -hmm. But two, it's got that more pungent uh, tartness to it. Almost For like sure. a kettle sour. So raspberry cranberry. So those are two very sour sort of fruits. Yeah, very tart. I expected it to be much more sour than it than it actually is. It just that it smells super tart, but it doesn't deliver on that. I'm not sure. I'm getting the vanilla or the nutmeg. No, not so much. And it could very well be maybe because we just had this really sweet vanilla dessert yeah. bomb before. True. Um, but yeah, I'm not I'm not getting much of the vanilla. What I do get is this pronounced sort of carbonation that hits right as you sip for the first time. That's the first thing I notice is like it's very it's very bright. Whereas this is like more earthy, uh, if that makes any sense. I mean, I'm trying to describe it in in terms of like an IPA, but but really this one has like a lot more body in it, and it's got like this really thick, dense mm -hmm. complexity to it. Whereas this one, much lighter, drinkability wise as well as just ingredient list. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a more simplistic beer for sure. But I think that carbonation really really shows through because of that too. And it's also a very like clear beer. For the most part. Oh yeah, compared I mean, to comparing like, these two, like you know, that's. I mean, one you can't. There's no way you can see on the other side of the glass. <laughs> it's so dense and foggy. So yeah, I mean, they're both good in their own way. I feel like I like this one for its classic nature. This more, okay, yes. more classic, right? More classically uh, tart ale, I guess. And, and this one just tastes amazing and has a lot of body to it. And if you're going for that gimmick side of things, that's the one I'd pick up. I thought they would be very similar, but they're kind of totally different. Yeah, on the label, they sound very similar, but then when you actually try them, they're quite different. Ones, I would categorize this as like a dessert beer. You know, if you're in the mood for something sweet. The Drecker one. The Drecker yeah. Slang Du Jour is definitely the, the way to go. Oh yeah, yeah. But then if you want something that's just like a tart sour ale, then the crumbs is the better option. Yeah. There's if you not like... a lot of sweetness in the crumbs. Yeah, yeah. There's more tartness. There's more upfront noticeable tartness, I should say. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, this is a more traditional-ish take on, on you know a sour ale. All right, guys, well, that does it from us. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed what you saw, please hit that subscribe button, leave a like, and a comment. Until next time, stay crafty. Cheers. Cheers.